Okay, this is part two of the three-part series for working with Navionics waypoints and paths overlaid onto Google Earth. Recall that part one showed you how to overlay Navionics onto Google Earth and create waypoints, paths, and polygons. This part two video will show you how to take these markers and convert them into GPX files that can be imported into your Fish Finder. Part three will put it all together with Fish Finder imports. Each of these are linked here. Let's get started. Okay, now that you have successfully imported Navionics into Google Earth and created some waypoints, some paths, and some features, I'm going to show you how to export it so that you can put it into your fish finder on your boat. In order to do that, you go to a folder that you created. Uh, in this case, I created a folder called Decker Demo on Google Earth and just save the place as and we'll call it Decker Demo. Make sure it's a KMZ file, just save it. And then from that file, you go into a website called GPS Visualizer and convert that KMZ file into a GPX, which then you can import into your fish finder. So we just upload that file. It's called the Decker Demo. And then output format will be GPX. And just click Convert takes about uh, 10 seconds or so and then you can just download that file done that let me open the file here so let's uh, rename this to something that's uh, a little easier to read so let's call this Decker demo from Google Earth and I'll put a date on it once you've done that, now you have it on your system and you just need to transfer this onto a flash drive, an SD drive that will fit into your uh, fish finder. So I have a SD drive already into the computer, so I just drag this over and we'll take the flash drive to the boat. So the next scene will be from the boat. <laughs> 